hello ladies and welcome welcome back to my channel if you are landing on my channel for the first time my name is Teresa and this channel is all about leveling up and becoming more elegant and graceful if you are a returning subscriber thank you and welcome back so in today's video I'm going to be sharing five ways that your clothes and my clothes can make you look cheap and definitely not elegant so if that is something you are interested in then please watch the video to the very end if you leave a comment please always be respectful remember ladies that this channel is all about becoming more elegant and graceful please feel free to leave a comment and i actually welcome all of your comments so please let me know what you think about these five ways that your outfits can make you look cheap. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing I wanna do is share with you guys my outfit of the day. And I'm going to be starting with my perfume. The perfume I'm wearing is called J'adore, and this is by Dior. And the perfume is absolutely just beautiful. The smell of it is so light and dainty. And I wanted to show you guys the bottle that it comes in. And this is just so beautiful and it just looks really elegant. This is also a travel size. It is 20 milliliters or 0.67 fluid ounces. So whenever I'm buying a perfume, I always check the ounces of it so that I will be able to take it when I'm traveling. And I, you guys, I just love this fragrance so much. And the smell of it is just beautiful. I wish you guys could smell this. If you have already tried J'adore by Dior, then please let me know in the comment section below. And it has this little roller tip on the end and I just love how you can just roll just a little bit on your skin and it just smells so lovely. And one of the things that I wanted to recommend in regards to fragrance, please never buy fragrances that are overpowering. When I worked in corporate America, I got on an elevator with a lady and her perfume was so loud that it started to make me cough. My eyes started running. And so wearing perfume that is overpowering and overbearing is not elegant. The perfume you wear should just be an afternote. When you leave a space, maybe there's just a little scent of you lingering there, but it shouldn't have people's eyes watering or their nose running when you leave the room. So this is one of those fragrances that I absolutely love. It's so light and so dainty. And I'm not really sure of the notes that are in this fragrance, but it is so beautiful and so elegant. Now let's get into my outfit for the day. This I would call my running out outfit, running to the store or to do a little bit of shopping. These gray pants I got from Banana Republic. This light blue shirt was an Amazon find. It's sort of a classy looking sweater. And I found it on Amazon and I absolutely love the color of it. And again, these gray cropped pants I got from Banana Republic about three or four years ago. And then to elevate this outfit, I just always pick up a black bag and some sunglasses. And I think this looks so elegant and always my pearl jewelry from Miss Soma, just a gold bracelet and my pearl necklace and earrings really completes the look of this outfit. And you can see the texture on this sweater is very soft. It's very elegant. Nothing looks scratchy. And remember you guys to always wear your clothes pressed or steamed. And then to take it even up another level, I threw on this scarf that I purchased in Italy. I absolutely love this scarf and there are many ways that you can tie a scarf, but I thought this really looked elegant the way that I tied it in this video. And I love the pants, just to give you an idea, they have a little bit of a stretchy waistline. So I chose not to wear a belt because the sweater comes over the pants where you will not see the belt line. This is the scarf 
that I got when I was in Italy and it has these little, I'm not exactly sure what the design is on these, but this gray scarf I thought looked so beautiful and it just looked elegant with the gray pants. You can tie scarves many different ways and they just really help your outfit to look a little bit leveled up and I absolutely just love throwing on a scarf in the winter time and then completing the look with a great pair of sunglasses. So now ladies, let's talk about five ways that your outfits or my outfits can make us look cheap and not elegant. And some of these outfits I'm going to be showing you are on trend right now and some of them I just do not get it. But if you like this kind of stuff, please feel free to do you. These are just some of the things that I think just make you look cheap and not elegant. And rather than following trends, I prefer to spend my money on things that are more timeless and more classy that I can wear year after year after year. So now let's get into the first thing that could be making you look cheap. So the first thing that can make you look cheap is wearing too many designer labels. Now, having something that is of a designer is a good thing if you can afford it, but wearing things that have logos and labels splattered all over them does not make you look elegant, it makes you look cheap. And as you can see in this photograph, not only does she have on a Louis Vuitton dress, but her phone case is Louis Vuitton, the belt is Louis Vuitton, and I wouldn't even doubt it if she has on some sneakers that are Louis Vuitton. But wearing too many logos and labels on your body just makes you look cheap. It makes you look like you just got paid and spent your entire check on the outfit. Most of the people that have money, they don't need to show it in this manner, but instead wearing something that is a little bit more subtle on the designer label is a good idea. And as you can see in this photo right here, she just has a very beautiful Louis Vuitton handbag, which is the statement piece paired together with this beautiful silhouette of some chocolate brown pants, chocolate brown boots, and then a off the shoulder sweater. This looks so elegant. And this is why wearing a whole lot of designer logos and labels can make you look cheap. Now there is nothing wrong with having a beautiful designer purse or maybe even a scarf that is of a designer with a few logos. However, please do not wear your entire outfit full of logos because it just makes you look cheap. Now the next way that your outfits can make you look cheap is wearing wrinkles. If you haven't seen my video last week, I will link it in the cards above or in the description down below but I talked about wrinkles not being elegant. So if you are wearing a shirt that you haven't ironed, this makes you look really cheap. And if you are in a hurry, ladies, try to pull something out of your closet that has already been steamed or pressed. And sometimes when I'm in a hurry, what I like to do is just throw on something like a sweater or something of a material that doesn't look wrinkled. So if you don't have time to iron or steam your clothing, look for something that's already wrinkle free before you put it on because wrinkles have never looked elegant and they make you look cheap. They make you look like an unmade bed. So please, ladies, if you want to level up, be sure that you are not wearing clothing that is wrinkled or unpressed. Now the third thing that can make you look cheap is see-through clothing. I have made this mistake myself and I learned from it, but I wanna show you guys a shirt that I purchased that I really cannot wear because I don't know what to do with it because it's too see-through. This is the shirt that I bought you guys and it is cute, 
it's very thin and very beautiful it has this beautiful like embroidery on the sleeve so i absolutely love this shirt but it is just too see-through and you guys if i were to put this on with just a bra i mean this is going to look not only ridiculous but it's going to look cheap i actually tried wearing this last summer with a little tank top underneath but you could still see my bra strap which we're going to talk about later in the video which i just don't know what to do with this so if any of you guys have any suggestions on how to wear this please let me know in the comment section below because i have not picked this up in over a year wearing see-through items is not elegant and i don't know why some of these items are on trend right now but these items really really look cheap i mean if you can see your panty line you can see the size of your abdomen and this just looks really cheap you should probably not even wear something like this at home unless you are alone and i mean completely alone because this just looks cheap it looks like you just don't care and i i just not i'm, I'm not really sure why this is a trend you guys because I just don't get it i don't get this i am not going to ever purchase any pants like this because this looks ridiculous now the next thing that can be making your outfit look cheap is missing buttons now i have a shirt and i think i got rid of it but i have a shirt that would not stay buttoned in the front and I ended up just getting rid of it until I discovered what they call shirt tape. Now there is tape where you can put it on the interior of your shirt where the buttons go and it will actually seal that little hole in the center of your shirt. If there are any of you who have experienced this because sometimes my shirt fit a little bit tighter in the breast line and so when i discovered the shirt tape this was just one of the most amazing things that i've discovered for clothing faux pas but wearing shirts where you can see inside of them you can see the color of your bra um, this is totally not elegant and it just makes you look cheap now the next thing that could be making your outfits look cheap are faulty zippers and you guys i know we have all had on a pair of pants where the zippers do not stay up and someone has had to tell you that your zipper was down and we want to make sure that we are checking our pants that we're checking our outfits and we are making sure that our clothes are properly fastened before we wear them out in the public because having a big opening where your zipper should be shut is not only not elegant but it just makes you look cheap and makes you look like you didn't try to get dressed properly it's going to draw someone else's eye downward to the place where it should so make sure that if you have pants or shorts or any type of items that you wear with faulty zippers that you either take them to dry cleaning get a new zipper put in them wearing any type of pants blue jeans or otherwise where the zipper is popped open not only makes you look cheap but it is certainly not a style habit that an elegant lady would follow now i have two bonus tips for you guys i know i said five outfit ideas that can make you look cheap but as i was thinking about this video i decided to add two more items because they are so important and i did not want to leave them out so the next thing that could be making your outfits look cheap is an exposed bra strap i have made this mistake several times in the summer months but wearing shirts where your bra strap is exposed and it's not fitting properly underneath the shirt that you are wearing is not elegant and it makes you look cheap it's not going to elevate the outfit it's going to make you look like you don't care and that you don't know how to dress so make sure that whatever shirt 
that you are wearing that you wear a bra that is appropriate for that type of shirt. Now the next tip I want to talk about is having stretched out necklines. I actually have some shirts that I lounge around in where the neckline has been stretched out, but these are not things that I would wear in the public eye. So if you are going out, you never want to wear a t-shirt that has an oversized stretched out neckline. And as you can see in this photo, there is not a whole lot you can do to elevate this outfit because the shirt is too big for this particular model. The neckline is too wide. So it just looks cheap. And so basically you want to wear something that is form fitting, even like the neckline that is on my shirt here, it is fitting to my neck. It is not oversized and stretched. It doesn't look tacky. Wear a t-shirt or a shirt with a neckline that fits you appropriately for your body structure. And this is going to give you a more beautiful silhouette. It's going to help you elevate the outfit and it's going to make you look more expensive. I want to reiterate the importance of making sure that your clothing is not wrinkled. You want to make sure that everything is ironed or steamed and properly pressed and make sure the creases are where they should be because this is an important aspect of making your clothes look high quality. Even if you didn't pay a lot, if your clothes are pressed appropriately, then they're going to look more elevated. Now, the last thing that can make you look cheap is sequence. Now, sequence is on trend right now, but some of these sequence pieces, you guys, I don't get, and I actually just don't like them. And as you can see in this picture right here, this looks cheap. There are, let's see, one, two, three, four, four or five different colors in this sequence, and you really don't know where to draw your eye because there's just too much going on. And this looks cheap. It does not look elevated. It doesn't look elegant. There are some very beautiful pieces I have seen in skirts that look very elevated if they are in sequence. But this is one that I think looks cheap. So if you love sequins, be sure to choose something that doesn't look like you painted it yourself or you had your children to color the dress with a crayon. Pick something that looks more subtle and appealing to the eye. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And also if you are landing on my channel for the first time and you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time one of my videos go live. Thanks for watching ladies and I'll see you in the next one.